All right, and I'm here with the Ducati Panigale V4 SP 2021 here. So, pretty cool, unique bike. This is, uh, what is this, number 353. Number 353. And I mean, Ducati, they never lack power with Ducati. It's just this brutal power that wants to murder you. That's kind of the, one of the reasons why I love my Ducati. Just had this outrageous power. So I got no gas here, so I'm gonna have to go to the gas station here real quick and then uh, you see what this bike does. So right now we've got a full Acura system on here with absolutely no tuning. It's the stock tuning on this bike right now. And that was just a quarter throttle pull right there. It doesn't seem to be too bad, but it's not really ringing my ears like it should. It kind of comes off the ground a little bit, but nothing too impressive. Not what I'm used to with uh, my old Ducati, for example. Like second gear, I should be able to pull this thing right off the ground like, like nothing. It's barely coming up at all. Which, I mean, for stock isn't too bad. Another issue with the stock on this bike, around 10,000 RPM, the brutal power of it starts laying off the bike and you just kind of get, it feels like it just flattens out as far as power goes. That's one of the things we're looking to rectify with the flash. Quick shifter feels all right. Ducati always has this very sensitive quick shifter that if you uh, even touch it with your feet a little bit, it uh, kind of thinks you're going to shift. It's a little weird to mess with. And this bike, of course, has the, you hear it right there, dry clutch. Which dry clutches are great. They just kind of, um, they wear a little quicker than, let's say, the, uh, the wet clutch that standard comes with, that comes with the standard V4. Takes off pretty decently from the light. You get that 1103 cc power off the line there. It's pretty useful. In fact, I think this bike is uh, a lot better than the V4R engine, for example, for simple road use. I mean, of course, if you're at the track, the V4R, that thing sings to about 16,500 RPM when modded, and man, at the track, it's a monster because that's you're spending most of your time up at high RPM, so it carries all that power. But when you're down here on the streets, you're at low, mid-range RPM kind of stuff. And um, this bike actually is a better bike on the streets than I would say a V4R is on the streets. All right, we're back on the road here with the 2021 Ducati Panigale V4 SP. Not a lot has changed actually from the 2018 model to this model. The 2018 model I had, which I had one of the first that was out, um, actually has the same exact engine as this. There's only a few changes they made to this bike. It's really just the fairings now match the kind of the V4R fairings to the wings, which I think is awesome. Um, it also has uh, the dry clutch. It has a few upgrades from Ducati Performance, but Nothing really crazy has been changed since 2018 when this bike was released. Now they've just come out with the um, the new Ducati V4, which uh, and the SP2 now is actually released in 2022. And the SP2 along with the V4 has a new, I think, oil squirters. There's a couple more horsepower in it. Nothing crazy, but as this bike sits without the up map and bone stock tuning right now, um, they claim the uh, 214 horsepower and is 226 with the uh, Acura up map that comes with the bike itself. This customer has not done this and chose or elected to go with our tuning. So we're gonna go up in the hill here and see how she does for stock. And then of course flash it and give you some impressions after. Let's see what this bike can do, huh?
Yeah, it feels smooth in a turn. I can get off, get on the throttle, roll on it. The problem with the Ducati is you can't get too onto the throttle. Because if you do, it throws you off the bike. You can definitely tell it's um, it lays off. It lays over completely up top. In first gear, there's some kind of limiter in these uh, newer Ducatis. First gear and second gear. And I'm not getting full power. It's almost impossible to get this thing off the ground. And I got the wheelie control all the way down on this thing. Like one is all the way down on these bikes. So I guess the only thing left to do here is to. Uh, Try our luck on a 60. Look, 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 watch this. I, I can't even get the front tire off the ground on this thing. So um, we'll just go back here. Get a 60 through 130, and uh, we'll see if we can improve upon that with the flash. All right, we got the draggy ready to go here. 60 through 130. All right, here we go. All right, 60 through 130 stock Ducati V4 SP. Here we go. All right, so to recap here, we've got low power in first and second gear, it appears, low power in the top end. Um, just doesn't feel like it's quite right. It does feel powerful. I mean, it feels murderous, but I mean, I've ridden enough bikes and pushed them to their paces to know there's definitely a lot left in this. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the after video. So we're back here with the Ducati V4 SP 2021. And now I'm uh, loaded up the stage two in here. This is new. And yeah, this bike flies now. It really comes up off the ground like nothing. It's crazy, like, look at this. It just picks it right up and keeps it up. It's crazy. All right. So, I'll go through you guys here and explain to you guys the differences, but it's pretty evident. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Um, so far, what we figured out here, Yeah, this bike goes straight up in the air. Um, so far what we figured out here is there's a bunch of torque limiter tables we found. And because of that, we are able to do some special tuning with that. Individual cylinder tuning, of course, the dyno back in Massachusetts and me street testing here in California, along with street testing in Massachusetts as well. We've come up with this uh, new stage two, which the quick shifter is actually Quite a bit faster, actually. It's, it's noticeable. The torque, right when you get on the gas, it's, I mean, everything is there. It, it, it's, a, it's not like you have to wait for this thing to wind up anymore. It's just, it's all instantly there on the table. It's crazy. It feels like a huge improvement over the, uh, the stage one. And I mean, I know that sounds like uh, fan service there. Like, oh yeah, stage one, stage two, you know, huge difference, but you really do feel the difference between stage one and two. Um, we've actually tested on a couple V4Rs as well, getting great feedback so far on it. People are saying it feels like the bike's on MR12 when it's just on pump gas and um, the way the bike gets out and just delivers torque now is just absolutely crazy. It really lets this uh, this 1103cc engine shine. So I know in the last video, um, this guy, <laughs> the customer here has a windscreen that is I mean, absolutely, completely black. I mean, you can't even see light coming through this thing whatsoever. I mean, it is blacked out completely. So I'll try not to duck down so far so you guys can actually see some, some of the road on this thing. Um, Cause I know on the first video I was looking through it and I could see like just black in a cluster basically. So I'll see if I can stay up a little bit so you guys can actually see what's going on outside. Oh, looks nice. Yeah, that's the, this, uh, 
exhaust cracks now with that new shifter. Well, I mean, not new shifter, but the revised stage two tuning for the shifter. It really cracks now. So we'll see what this thing can do up in the hills here. I see a Porsche way up there, so I'll probably end up catching that pretty fast. driving this thing. shifting now um, definitely crispier or, or crisper shifting more power up top so on the standard v4 usually what happens is the bike kind of levels off up top and this bike is no exception it gets like 10,000 rpm and it's still making power but it's no longer pulling I guess you could say as hard as it normally would um, through the low and mid range so it's a huge change because now we've got all that power up top too, as well as we do in the mid and low range end. The power is a lot crazier now. I mean, it's it's really brutal. I would not recommend this flash for a beginner rider. I mean, the bike altogether, but this flash is something to get used to. I mean, it's very brutal. But I also like as the turns and the transitions for throttles on tip in. It's very predictable. I mean, I mean, we get brutal power on tap when you want it, but it also gives you this uh, nice feel on tipping where it's more forgiving. You don't, you can't like, you know, pick up or sneeze in the middle of a turn and be on your back, you know. So with testing on stage two, I found the the low and mid range. I mean, it is substantially noticeable. If you jump from stage one to stage two and you just get on the gas in first gear, that's the first thing you notice is just, whoa, that response is really clear at this point. It, there's no winding this thing up. It is on tap, it is there, it is ready. Um, the tire just comes right off the ground, like nothing now.
Yeah, this thing cracks, man. All right, we're set up here for the 60 through 130. Everything's all good. Let's go get some times. All right, 60 through 130, Ducati V4 SP. Here we go. So to recap here completely, we've got per cylinder tuning for stage two. We've got enhanced optimized ignition, optimized fueling up top. It's more aggressive for racing. Faster quick shifter, down low, up high, everywhere. Nice and cracks, cracks into every gear now. Um, everywhere now we got the diesel fueling basically perfect on this bike it feels amazing everything about this bike feels great right now tip-in fueling's awesome everything everything that made the Ducati kind of iffy for me has been rectified in stage two and then some I mean it's power I think that'll do it for uh, today on the V4SP review apologies if uh, if some of the video has just the black windscreen on it with a cluster, I know it's annoying, but um, not much I could do about it. And I'll see you guys in the next review.